Hi there, here's a quick short revision video looking at equilibrium prices in markets. So equilibrium economics means a state of equality or a state of balance, in this case between market demand and market supply. So prices where demand and supply are not the same are called points of equilibrium. And the key point is that the free market or the market equilibrium price is a market clearing price determined by the interaction of demand and supply curves. Indeed, in the marketplace for most products, there's only one price in a given time period, however short that is, where demand and supply are equal. And that's the, the free market equilibrium, an equilibrium where there's no intervention from, from government or regulatory agencies. Here's an example of equilibrium using a table. A football has a football club has a fixed capacity of 8,000 seats and has estimated the demand for, seat, for tickets at different prices as shown in the table. Well, in this case, the equilibrium price is £16. That's the ticket price where quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. At £14, for example, demand would be 9,000. Of course, the, sta the stadium capacity is 8,000, so there'd be excess demand. And at price 18, ticket price of £18, well, the stadium capacity still is 8,000, but quantity demand would be less, 7,000. There'd be 1,000 unsold seats in the market. So we show the equilibrium price in a diagram as the market clearing price. At this, at this price, PE and QE, there is no excess demand or no excess supply. Let's take an example of disequilibrium excess supply. If the price in the market was P2, which is above the equilibrium, then at price P2, quantity supplied would be higher at Q3. Firms have an incentive to supply more when the price is greater, but consumers would be less willing to buy their demand would contract up to a level of Q2. So a market price of P2, which lies above the equilibrium, uh, leads to excess supply. And if there's excess supply in the market or a surplus, then that leads to downward pressure on the price, back towards the equilibrium. Conversely, if the market price is P1, well below the, the uh, equilibrium of PE, well, at low prices, demand is higher, people want to buy products at cheap prices, they expect a bargain there. But consumers uh, want to buy more, but producers are not willing to bring as much to the market. Quantity of supply will be down at Q1. And as you can see, the gap Q1 to Q4 is the excess demand in the market. When prices are below the equilibrium, there's excess demand, and there is a tendency, an upward pressure on price to go up. That's a brief introduction to equilibrium prices.